Alright guys, BLM here, back with a new video. In this video, I'll be talking about who I think should be cast on a season of The Amazing Race Reality Showdown 2. Now, obviously, the first reality showdown was season 31 of The Amazing Race US, and I thought that was a really fun season, where we saw some returning Amazing Race players go against some Survivor players and also some Big Brother players. And I thought it was just a really cool dynamic to see the Survivors and Big Brother characters that, obviously, we know from the other shows go on The Amazing Race and also see some really fun teams from The Amazing Race back as well. Now, is it my ideal format? Not really. I would prefer if it was just Survivor versus Big Brother as I do feel like that's the most fair way to do it, as obviously I feel like the Amazing Race teams probably have an advantage in the sense that they know how the game is played. However, I do think they'll probably keep it this way. I think they probably want the Amazing Race teams in there, so decided to keep them in this video. So for this video, I will be actually including 12 teams. And this is something I thought about for a while because obviously the current Amazing Race format is 11 teams. And because that, when they got to Reality Showdown, they had to do five Amazing Race teams, three Big Brother, three survivor and i just didn't feel like that was a good format i would have preferred if it was something if you're going to keep 11 i would prefer four survivor four big brother three amazing race but i feel like that also undermines the amazing race returning team so the way i did it here is i expanded it to 12 i have four from each and i also tried to keep genders equal as well so there are the same amount of males on the cast as there are females and let's get started with survivors and the initial idea was that i was going to have one male male team from each of these shows one female female team from each of these shows and then two male female teams from each of these shows but i kind of felt like while obviously putting this together that certain shows had better all gender teams than others and i felt like for survivor there were better male male teams than there were female female teams so I actually didn't put any female female teams from Survivor on the cast. For me, it was very difficult to even think of any. I mean, the only one that came to my mind was Kelly Wentworth and Lauren. But even then, I just didn't feel like they were necessary on this cast. There were just other female family teams I would rather see than them, so I decided to cut them. So for the sake of Survivor here, we actually have two male male teams and two male female teams. Let's start with the male male teams. Let's start with some contenders. I did think about like Colby and like a Burton or a Reynolds. I mean, we do know that they are our friends down in Texas, so that could have been something. I didn't put them on the cast though. Keith Nail, West Nail would have been fun. Simply weren't enough spots though. Caleb and Ty is someone that was in consideration for first season that did end up working out. And to be honest, I don't want Beast Mode Cowboy to be the first player to play all three shows, so didn't put them on. Jay and Adam is a good combo, but again, didn't really think they made the cut. And also I consider Joe Mena and Dr. Mike as I thought that would be a funny combo, but really at the end of the day, didn't really make the cut. But the two that did make the cut, for me, the first one was very obvious. These two were asked to be on the first season. They said no. Will they say no the second time? Probably, but it's still a funny combination that I would like to see on reality television, and that is Rob Sesternino and Stephen Fishback. Obviously, the Survivor know-it-alls. I, I just think they'll be a fun dynamic on The Amazing Race. Again, I don't expect them to do well. I, I would be very surprised if they made it even to like the halfway point in the race. But I think it would be a lot of fun to see like two people that I hear podcasting about Survivor a lot. To see them actually on a season of The Amazing Race would just be a funny thing. And I do want to see them on the cast. The other one was pretty easy for me. And it's weird because like I don't feel like I see anyone bring up these two as a combo on the amazing race but i would actually really like to see it and for me it's wendell holland and bryce isaiah and i know a lot of people say oh wendell and dominic that's the combo that you should go with and for me i feel like wendell and bryce are like the perfect combo for the amazing race where i feel like they're kind of a team that's poised to do at least decently on the show but i also feel like they're a team that's gonna bicker they're gonna argue i think again kind of similar to the chris and brett sort of dynamic from the first reality showdown i feel like they have a similar dynamic between each other as well where they make fun of each other all the time but they are still like best friends that and also bryce is just fantastic tv just in general i think they would be a good combo to have on the amazing race so i put those two on the cast as well now for the male female teams uh, again there were a few contenders i considered malcolm and denise i think that would be an interesting one but again i just don't feel like they're as dynamic as a duo in terms of personalities to really put them on the cast Candace and John, Cody, I think that was an interesting one. Didn't really make the cut. John and Jacqueline was one I considered. 
again, didn't make the cut. So the first one I put on is Parvati and John Fincher. And while I don't think their dynamic is probably going to be the most fun in the world, I, I do think to have a survivor legend in Parvati on a season like this would be really fun. I mean, Parvati is someone that I would really like to see on The Amazing Race. I mean, I believe that's actually what she initially applied for, right? She initially applied for The Amazing Race, but then got transferred over to Survivor. So why not put her on? And obviously, if she's going to have a pair from Survivor, Obviously, her husband is John Fincher, so why not put John Fincher on the cast as well? The other team that I put on is a recently married couple. I think it's a couple that obviously is loved by CBS, and that is Joe Anglum and Sierra Don Thomas. Now, obviously, CBS loves Joe. I think that's kind of a no-brainer to put him on The Amazing Race with his wife. That was also a Survivor player. I think it just, like, again, it, it just makes all the sense in the world. Now, again, like, they're not the most dynamic personalities. I don't know how great of TV they'll actually make, but I think they're pretty much a shoe in for next reality showdown season so put them on the cast so that's it for survivor moving on to big brother now so for big brother i did stick to the original thought process that i had which is a male male team a female female team and two male female teams so let's start off with the male male team there were actually a lot of contenders here uh i think devin and zach was a combination that would have been funny if you don't know they were actually in contention for a previous amazing race season actually originally it was zach and frankie grande obviously Frankie Grande turned down. They brought in Devin. And it was going to be Devin and Zach until Zach pissed off production and then everything fell apart. But I think it would have been a lot of fun to see that combo on. But for me, they just didn't make the cut. Cody and Derek would have been fun. I think obviously Derek is one of the biggest figures in Big Brother at this point. But I, I just didn't really feel like their dynamic was that fun. So I didn't put him on the cast. Brent and Winston was one I almost put on. I think Brent and Winston are... A really funny duo when they're together. I mean, again, they're kind of douchey bros, but I think they're like funny douchey bros. But for me, again, didn't make the cut. I also considered Frank and Boogie. I mean, obviously people want Will and Boogie, but Will and Boogie is never happening. But I do think Frank and Boogie is more likely. But even then, I don't feel like it's super likely, so I didn't put them on. The male male team I did put on the show was Paul and Josh. And they were actually in the running for last season. And I was actually very surprised when they didn't get put on. I thought they were actually a shoe in the get put on. But then again, they didn't end up putting any male male team from Big Brother on last season. So I, I feel like they're the most likely male male team to return. Obviously, CBS loves both of them. They love Paul. They love Josh. They're two really fun personalities on their own right. I think they had a really fun dynamic on that season as well. Obviously, just the dynamic of the final two from BB19 being on a team together is just kind of funny in general. I, I I just think Paul and Josh are probably the most likely male-male team from Big Brother to go on The Amazing Race, so I decided to put them on. Now for the male-female teams, this was tough, just because obviously there's a lot of showmances involved in Big Brother, and some of them are fun, some of them aren't. So for the male-female teams, the first ones I considered here, I considered Swaggy C and Bailey, and they almost made the cut, to be honest. However, I just had this like weird feeling about like putting them on just because they were on the challenge. They were on the challenge together also. I, I feel like that's kind of a weird thing to have this couple that was on the challenge together as well, and then put them on The Amazing Race. I felt like that was kind of like too much of Swaggy C and Bailey, so I decided just to leave them off. Jesse and Haley I considered as well, but... Again, I just didn't feel like we needed them. I actually consider Jackson and Holly for a second. The thing is, I, I don't feel like they have a fun dynamic. And also, I mean, do we really want to see Jackson on TV again? Probably not. Tommy and Christy was a dynamic that I think would be fun. That's one I really did consider. I also considered Alex and Jason. They didn't make the cut. But the ones I did put on the cast, this is the, the first one I'm going to be talking about here is one that I didn't really want to put on. But I just feel like production's going to put them on. And that's Tyler and Angela. And... Yeah, I just feel like they're super likely, right? I mean, the problem, I, I think the problem here is that they're so similar to Joe and Sierra, where you have this, like, fan favorite surfer guy, guy on the team, and then the female is, like, kind of a quieter, sort of more boring person. But, yeah, I mean, I think Tyler and Angela are a very likely team to be put on the Amazing Race. Like, I think the only thing stopping them is, again, they're similar to Joe and Sierra, and even then, I, I think probably Tyler and Angela are more of a lock. I think Tommy and Christy would be a more fun team to have on the race. But I think just based on how CBS would 
make this. I feel like Tyler and Angela are probably going to be on the cast. And the other team for me was a no-brainer. I mean, this is one of the first teams I thought of, and that is Danielle and Dominic. Obviously, they met on BB13, got married. They have a kid now. I'm kind of looking at them as kind of like the Victor and Nicole of the season. I feel like they'll be very likable. I think they're a fun dynamic. They're both fun characters in their own right. I feel like Dominic is someone that I would have loved to see play Big Brother again or someone on TV again. I thought he was really good on that show, so... Why not put them on The Amazing Race? I think they're a good couple. And then for the female-female team, there's really only one that I truly considered. I mean, there was Vanessa and Tiffany Russo, obviously, and uh, I mean, that would have been interesting, but it's like, I don't find that to be particularly likely. So really, I mean, I think the obvious one here is Liz and Julia, right? I, I feel like obviously the twins from BB17. Yeah, I, I think they're shooing for the first boot, but I, I think they're a team that I could very likely see being cast on, again, another reality showdown sort of season. And Amazing Race does like to have their twins here and there. So I feel like Liz and Julia are probably a good pick for this. Now moving on to the Amazing Race. So there weren't that many contenders, if I'm being honest. I mean, with the Amazing Race, I kind of knew who I was going to pick right off the bat. So for the Amazing Race, I didn't put any male-male teams as I didn't really think any were really worth bringing back any of the recent ones at least i mean i think eric and jeremy would have been fun i think that's a team that was supposedly called for 31 i think seeing them back would be really cool but again like in terms of spots i just rather see the male male teams that i did end up putting back more so than eric and jeremy but i wouldn't be upset at eric and jeremy return so in terms of the male female teams there were a couple i considered i did consider sherry and cole i think they're kind of a perfect fit for a season like this in the sense that they're not a good team but they were at least fun personalities. I mean, they're a team that obviously got second place. They almost won, surprisingly, but they weren't a strong team. They weren't a consistent team, and that's the kind of team I'm looking for for Reality Showdown 2, as I want to make it more fair. I don't want to pick the best Amazing Race teams to go against all these other teams, because I just feel like it just leaves it very uneven. I mean, we saw that in Amazing Race 31, where the final three were all Amazing Race teams. And only teams to win a leg were all amazing race teams. I feel like, that, again, I just feel like it is a big advantage. So I don't want the best teams in the world. So Sharon and Cole were contenders, but I didn't pick them. And from the opposite effect, I didn't pick Justin and Diana. Obviously, I feel like they're one of the biggest locks to return on The Amazing Race. But I feel like at the same time, it's like I don't want them on a reality showdown season because I feel like they're going to run the table. I mean, they almost ran the table on their own season. I mean, they won almost every leg on that season. And it's like, do I really want that again on a season with like a whole bunch of favorites from other shows? I feel like that's kind of underwhelming. So I feel like save them for an all-star season or second chance season or something down the road. Don't put them on reality showdown too. So two teams I did put on Reality Showdown 2. The first one I'm kind of a bit more hesitant about. It's not really a team that I felt needed to be on this cast. But, and to be honest, I mean, I feel like really I could cut them and make this an 11-team cast. I wouldn't be that upset. But it is Bernie and Ashley. And I mean, I like them. I thought they were fun in the season, on season 28. But do I need them back? Not necessarily. I do think they're kind of of the same caliber that I'm looking for here of teams that weren't like dominant or anything, but teams that are like at least competent to make it far. I thought Bernie was at least a fun personality. I think he definitely played the game pretty strategically. I do think there's a reason to bring them back. Do I need them back here? Not necessarily. So again, like if you cut them and make it 11 team cast, I'm kind of fine with that, but I did end up putting them on. The other team is kind of a weird one because I mean, they're winners. <laughs> <laughs> but they weren't the strongest winners in the world, and I would love to see them back on TV, and that is Brooke and Scott. I also considered, if you don't have Brooke and Scott, why not make it Brooke and Blair? Because from what I understand, they're still dating, right? I, I think Brooke from season 29, the winner of season 29, and Blair from Haley and Blair from season 26, they were at least at one point dating. I believe they're still together, and I think that would be a fun duo as well. But if you can't get Blair, get Scott. I think either one of these combinations would be fun. And again, just seeing Brooke on TV again would be fantastic. I mean, with all of her meltdowns and everything. So there's that. Now, there's two female-female team spots left. And this was actually the toughest cut of the entire thing. Like, there were four female-female teams I considered. And I really wanted all four of them. So the ones I cut, I cut Kim and Allie. I really want to see Kim and Allie play again. I just feel like they're too good of a team. I mean, they weren't extremely dominant like Justin and Diana, but I do feel like they were probably the most consistent racers on that season. I mean, maybe outside of Misty and Jim, but then again, Misty and Jim had their, their issues as well. But either way, I mean, Kim and Allie, I felt like they were too good of a team. So, and I mean, I did put another good team on the cast. So I didn't want like too many good, amazing race teams here. So I decided to leave Kim and Allie off. But again, you could put them on and replace them with 
the te- one of the teams that I'm going to be talking about, and I would be fine with it, but I just feel like they're too strong of a team. The other one that I didn't put on was Charlotte and Mirna. I feel like Charlotte and Mirna supposedly got the call for 31, and I feel like seeing them back would be really fun. However, I, I decided not put third time racers on this season. I feel like that's kind of overkill. I didn't like it that Leo and Jamal were on season 31, so I'm not going to put Charlotte and Mirna here, even though I would really like to see them back. Now for the ones that did make the cut. The one that I said that could be cut and I would be fine with it is Tiffany and Krista. I put them on. I like Tiffany and Krista. I like Krista from outside of The Amazing Race as well. I thought she was a lot of fun sequester. She was fun on some podcast appearances. I think she is fun like on Twitter and stuff where she talks about Big Brother and all that stuff. I think she's a fun personality in general. Tiffany's fine, but really I think them as a team, they were fun on The Amazing Race. They were kind of underdogs the entire season. And I would like to see them back and I feel like they aren't strong team to the point where like it would be unfair to bring them back against all these other teams. So I'm fine with Tiffany and Krista being on this cast. Again, if you want to switch them with Kim and Allie, fine. But for me, I I decided to put Tiffany and Krista on. And the other team is a team that production's been wanting back for forever and just could never get back. And I feel like if you have the opportunity to bring them back, bring them back. And like, despite them being probably a stronger team than I would like on this cast, I did bring back Brooke and Claire. And again, Brooke and Claire, again, just they're a really fun dynamic. They're a really fun team. They had a lot of fun moments on season 17. I think they're a team that almost won that season. They're a team that is probably one of the strongest like female-female teams in the history of the race. Again, are they too strong for this cast? I, I think it's debatable, but... I, I, yeah, I just feel like any time that you can get the opportunity to bring them back, you might as well do it. So I put them on the cast here. So there we go. That is my 12-team cast for The Amazing Race, Reality Showdown 2. To go through everyone here, we from Survivor, we got Rob and Steven. We got Wendell and Bryce. We got Parvati and John. And we got Joe and Sierra. From Big Brother, we got Paul and Josh. We got Danielle and Dominic. We got Tyler and Angela. And we got Liz and Julia. And from The Amazing Race, we got Bernie and Ashley. We got Brooke and Scott slash Blair. We got Brooke and Claire. And we got Tiffany and Krista. And again, I would really like if this cast actually came true. I think this is actually a pretty strong cast. I think, like, really, I mean, I think the Tyler and Angela Jones Sierra thing is something you could switch out. I think you only need one of those teams. But outside of that, I feel like this is a pretty strong cast as a whole. It's something I would like to see in the future. So there we go. That is my cast for The Amazing Race Reality Showdown 2. Thank you for watching.